human race has grown at an incredible rate as space exploration and colonization have become a reality. Huge mining and manufacturing corporations compete in the pillage of the resources on the new worlds. It has become necessary for the corporations to hire heavily armored individuals to protect their investments. These individuals employ the use of a Corvette-class starship, providing living quarters and interplanetary transport for their planet runners. The planet runner was developed specifically for the purpose of navigating the harsh terrain while carrying the firepower of a light armored division and defensive strength of a small battleship. Capable of mass destruction, they are one-man armies. Greetings and welcome, fellow Planet Runners pilots, to a new Let's Play. Welcome to Let's Play Shattered Steel, published by Interplay Entertainment and created by BioWare. Yes, that BioWare. The once and future king of RPGs, but before they did all that, they created this little game, which, which release coincided sort of around the time of Mac Warrior 2, which I don't think helps because that was overall a much more interesting game, I suppose. But this is still a fun experience, as it is a little bit more action oriented rather than tactics oriented. You still need to be clever about what you're doing, but it feels a little bit more close to the ground, I suppose. Uh, as the mechs that you're piloting are not usually quite as big as most of, most, most battle mechs. And this game, I think, was intended to be much bigger in the, uh, in the mind of Brian Fargo, I suppose. Where there was an intricate story and politics involved, and instead the game is actually a little bit meh on the story front. All things considered, I mean, there is a story in there, and it sort of makes sense. 
you just have to really dig for it also the game is a little bit unfinished and well i'm not going to show it here now but the game constantly keeps reminding you the story with the game will continue in shattered steel 2 which never came Heck, this game was supposed to have an expansion, and that also never really came. It was added later in an, uh, in the um, in an update, and you can sort of play the expansion still in the skirmish mode, but that <coughs> that's not what we're here to do anyway. We are going on campaign, so buckle in. All that just to end up at this screen, but welcome aboard our Corvette. We still have the same options as in uh, graphics and realism and basic options. Now graphics and realism is sort of interesting I suppose uh, in that it will allow you to actually do stuff like set up your VR device because this game is actually sort of capable of VR. I mean, uh, considering this game was released in, what, 1996? That's actually quite ahead of its time. Now, it wasn't the only game, of course, to do this. Uh, I mean, a Descent, Descent had uh, similar options, I suppose. But, you know, I don't suppose there's a way to get this game running on uh, the current VR systems, but... Oh, well. Um... Other than that, uh, yeah, so we can go to the holo projector to see our mission. Uh, let's actually go to the arming bay first. Not that we really need to do anything there, because, well, we can't. All we have is two uh, bots, which basically just have light lasers and a small shield, a small reactor, or a level one reactor and a level one shield. And. Alright, come on. There. And one 18 pack of small rockets. Not really anything special. This is the basic loadout of every run that you start with, pretty much. Let's go to the holo project and we can also look at the intelligence a bit. This is our current planet runner, the NAT. Uh, you can pause the video and read this, I think. I'm not gonna bother. Because it's not important. We are here to do a mission, a very quick one. Good morning, human scout. I hope that your metabolism is well rested. It will be severely strained in the near future, I fear. I will be your guide in your future endeavors here. I am the Artificial Intelligence Network Interface Coupler Mark III. You may call me ANEC if it makes you more at ease to use personal names. I will call you Scout from this point on for simplicity. For your information, I am programmed with the latest in social interface skills, all for your comfort. <laughs> with my superior logic and your animal cunning, I am certain that we will together be able to meet our future challenges successfully. Pay no attention to any unsubstantiated rumors that you may hear of problems with previous versions of the ANEX series. Marks 1 and 2 are no longer extant. Reassuring. The instability of the Lanios 3 communications array has caused our employer to lose contact with their surface installations. The company has issued orders to remove the source of this disruption. You will be inserted to the north of the planet's last remaining communication outpost. Proceed south and begin a systematic cleansing of any units you encounter. 
All enemies must be eliminated. Survival of the outpost is unnecessary, as the communications array has already been disrupted. The inhabitants are of no use to us, as they have demonstrated their unfitness for active duties. Planetary scans have not discovered the origin of the attacking force you will be facing, but we know you will deal with it with your usual expediency. Right then. Yeah, I don't think I will be trusting the AI in this particular game too much. Now, I can immediately launch into the mission if I want to. Then I will want to. Ah, but the first mission is a little bit hectic in that it really gives you no pause for the start. Also, um, I'm playing with the GOG version here. It works, but there's still some quirks that mm, were never really figured out. Like, I apologize if the sound is either too soft or too loud, because I have been trying, but this game will not work with any settings I put in. So I'm sort of dampening the noise, the usual noise uh, externally via, via OBS, but it's really loud in my headset, so um, I may have to tweak it a little bit more, I suppose, if it's too slow, if it's too loud still. But that's mostly with the combat sounds and all that, and the noises the enemies make. Anyway, let's begin. Try to save the communications tower, if at all possible, Scout. All right, we will. All right, that's a friendly. Yeah, our friend over there is much better suited for actually taking care of the enemies than we are. The communications outpost has been destroyed. Damn it. Now, oh, well, it is technically possible to save the communication array. Not like I said, the game just doesn't really give you time. Right. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter either way. Excellent work, Scout. You have temporarily stopped the advance of these strange creatures and prevented them from wreaking havoc on the nearby colonies. The company is quite concerned about the details of this assault. Lanios 3 is an extremely important part of their mining operations, and they can't afford to lose any significant amount of product at this time. I am under orders to interface with the company's Planetary Defense Force computers and bring you under the command of their military commanders for discretionary use as a specialized operative. From this point on, I will be relaying their orders to you, unless otherwise instructed. As usual, follow my orders specifically, and your metabolism should continue with minimal damage. The planetary forces are analyzing the recovered enemies, and will have a report for you shortly. Meanwhile, you are needed to gather information about this new threat. Review the briefing reports for more information on your next mission. All right, we'll do. First, though, we'll save. All right, it uses a very quaint saving system with these cryo bays because essentially, whenever you load into the game, you always load back to the very first start. Then you have to load a cryo bay where you actually are, just so you can continue. And check the arming bay because we now have a new set of missiles it doesn't matter because we still only have these two bots and you do have to be a little bit careful because uh, if i just randomly click off to the wrong side i will immediately launch into the mission before i know what's going on but yeah the first mission does set a little bit of a precedent that sometimes the um the briefing for the mission actually takes longer than the mission itself but in any case, this is the world we are saving, Lanios 3. It doesn't look like much, does it? I 
just received report of colonists fleeing the Lennox outpost, citing a group of alien buildings near their home. Most impressive, given the short time frame they've had to install themselves. This location presents the perfect opportunity to gather more information about our enemy and may help to illuminate us on their supply lines and the strength of their force. You will be dropped to the southeast of the small enemy facility and should stealthily proceed north to the target and inspect the area and gather intelligence information about our foe. Once you have inspected the installation, destroy as much of the facility as you can. Scout, you may leave as soon as alien reinforcements begin to arrive, so as to preserve your runner. By the way, Scout, before you equip your runner, may I inquire as to the status of your life insurance policies? We have an excellent employee plan, which I am programmed to issue as needed. I recommend that you name the company as the beneficiary for present. We have the utmost faith in your abilities, Scout, as usual. Good luck. Sure thing. Now, you do kind of have to keep in mind that sometimes this summary report isn't exactly the same as what uh, the AI just told you. Sometimes makes for a lot, a lot of a little bit of fun in between things. Like it, it suggests sort of that there is a disagreement between the two uh, on purpose. It also sometimes means that uh, there were some mistakes were made in the programming. <laughs> but anyway, we can just launch into the mission. Carefully approach the enemy compound and inspect its contents. Mm -hmm. All right, we can take our time a little bit more on this mission. So we don't have to worry too much. Um, so let's just increase the weapon and shield boosting powers. This is something you pretty much always do. And we can push a little bit more energy out of the reactor. Yeah? No? Oh, that's too much. You can push your uh, engine all the way into the red if you want to, and for a while that will work, but at some point the engine will overheat and you'll drop down below uh, a lot, and if that happens in the middle of combat, which it will, that'll be painful. Alright, so let's have a look at the map. Looks like fairly sparsely populated. Now, of course, we are not really armed with anything serious. Um, like, for instance, yeah, this is us. Aren't we cute? Uh, the only advantage we really have over the enemy is our shielding system. But once we're down to bare metal, uh, we're fucked. Now, luckily, most of the enemies here are equipped with weapons that can't really punch through our shields that quickly unless they really pound on us. Which is usually enough time for us to destroy them. And uh, this, by the way, is the... Uh, I think it's the view meant to... As you're you meant to see it through uh, uh, virtual goggles. I can also change the displays on the various monitors in the cockpit. But we're not going to need that right now, so... Just... Focus on getting these spiders killed. Now... You don't need to necessarily kill these enemies. But I'm certainly going to, because they make an annoying noise. It helps to know where the weak spots of your enemies are. Like for instance, those flying enemies, the weak spots are their engine pods. So you'll aim for those. With the spiders, you aim for the head. Unless you have a better weapon, in which case you can usually take them out in uh, just a few shots. But with just the light lasers we have, that's not going to happen. Ooh, we got a basilisk. A slightly more heavy unit. You kill the head. Come on. Now, the missiles I have are unguided rockets. And fairly weak ones at that. 
It makes uh, no sense to shoot at the center torso of the um, robots. Because you'll miss. Alright, that'll have to do for this episode. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time.